11 people have died in Ludhiana and Punjab after they fell unconscious due to a gas leak at a factory. Reports suggest a gas leak allegedly happened here last year too, but no one was adversely affected. But there were casualties this time and children among them too. A 10 and a 13 year old who were part of a family of five. The entire family died in the incident. The family was from Bihar and had moved to Punjab for a better future. Three people from another family were killed in the toxic gas leak and a couple that leave behind a little child who survived. This family too was from Bihar. Families have perished, some torn to bits in this tragedy. There is a customary compensation offered, 2 lakh rupees to the family members of the victims and 50,000 for those injured. But in a country like India that has seen the horrors of negligence, gas leak and its potential after effects, compensation is neither enough nor should be the end of the story. A swift probe is needed to establish accountability. If this is proven to be a case of negligence, strict and exemplary action is required. And against whom? Not just the obvious owners alone, but those who let this happen or pass. So the question we ask tonight, where does the buck stop? Joining me now on the show, Sipal Singh, former IG Punjab Police, Ebab Singh Greval, spokesperson of the Aam Party, Adil Singh Boparai, spokesperson of the Congress, and Sanjay Hegre, senior advocate to the Supreme Court. Ebab Singh Greval, I want to first come to you. The police will probe the matter, and that's already an obvious uh, conclusion that one can draw. But shouldn't the state government be pushing for a time-bound investigation considering that reports suggest that there was a similar incident last year? It appears to be a case of both negligence and perhaps overlooking of flaws by the officials. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, good evening. Yes, this unfortunate incident has happened in my hometown of Ludhiana and uh, it's a very very sad uh, incident uh, i've been in touch with uh, dc ma'am uh, commissioner sir as well as the local mla who've been camping there since 7:30 in the morning uh, as far as the current situation is concerned uh, the area has been contained it has been contained to two houses and uh, unfortunately uh, this happened this whole uh, this whole incident happened because uh, there has been criminal misconduct in the dumping of chemical waste from factories into the sewer system and the NDRF and the NDMA are involved. Uh, the DC ma'am told me that they have they, they had had a cordon of area for a certain while, but now fortunately they brought it down. And it's very unfortunate that 11 people have died, but uh, the first responders, that's the first re PCR team which reached there, both of them fell unconscious while trying to save people and kudos to them. They've been taken to hospital and fortunately they are out of danger. Now, as far as this uh, whole conduct is concerned, uh, we are very negligent and we are criminally, criminally involved in, uh, in disposing of the industrial waste that is produced in our factories. And that is uh, seriously a very serious issue. But as far as uh, Ludhiana incident is concerned and as far as Punjab is concerned, the Punjab Pollution Control Board as well as the administration has been on its toes for the past almost almost eight to nine months now, they've been locking up factories, they've been uh, punishing offenders, they've been booking offenders for everything. This uh, I will not I will not uh, comment on the on, on the situation right now. But uh, what I must commend is the reaction of the district and the political administration. Yes, customary uh, uh, customary uh, grievances have been addressed. Uh, compensation has been given, but that is not. That is not uh, a solution. Yes, it happened a year ago. We, we've just been aware of this. But this time around, we assure you that uh, this will be addressed to the full length of the problem, which is the the discharge of industrial waste from our industry, but, uh, which is left right. unchecked. Ebab Singh Greval, I, I'm glad that at least there is acceptance of the fact that there was a serious issue here. You're also accepting that as per reports, yes, there was probably a similar incident last year as well. So, Adil Singh Boparai, the question naturally now is as to why the incident in the past was not investigated or why this criminal negligence of dumping of industrial waste, which probably has been on for several years now, has not been looked into. And there have been successive governments uh, 
Congress, BJP, this time the Aam Admi Party. So why should anybody be exonerated then? Well, Maha, we're deeply sad. We're deeply saddened and on behalf of the Congress Party, we extend our sincerest condolences to the bereaved families. And I, for one, firmly believe that no amount of monetary compensation can make up for the loss of loved ones. Absolutely. And in response to the Aam Admi Party representative, this is not the time to pat your own back. This is the time and the need of the hour is to come up with comprehensive guidelines and SOPs so that we can obviate and ensure that such tragedies do not happen in the future. There is, of course, the Pollution Control Board. There is the Industries Department. There is the District Administration. So surely if this release of gas has happened, there have been lapses. But be that as it may, I will believe what my friend has said on face value, that they will constitute an inquiry. But my humble request is, and this is purely from a humanitarian point of view, that please conduct a prompt inquiry, ascertain the cause and the source of this leakage, and fix accountability. This is not the time to pass the buck and pat our own backs. And any person who's familiar with Ludhiana would know that this area is an industrial hamlet. It is densely populated. And there are reports that people are extremely concerned and perturbed. Therefore, the district administration has this onus on its shoulders to allay concerns of the local residents mm -hmm. so that this fear mongering doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, uh, fasten and lead to a sense of panic amongst the city residents. Absolutely. And finally, uh, finally, uh, finally, uh, finally, if I could just, if I could just end uh, uh, Maha. The state government has to take punitive action. This is not just a case of death due to rash or negligent act. This is a case of culpable homicide. This is a case of culpable homicide not amounting to murder, hmm. which carries a sentence of 10 years. So therefore, the state government and the police has to invoke stringent punitive provisions. Absolutely. So that such instances do not reoccur. Hmm, absolutely. Uh, Ebab Singh, I can see your hand raised there. I'll come to you. Let me go across to our other two panelists as well. Uh, Sipal Singh, Ludhiana Deputy Commissioner, has pointed out and uh, Ebab Singh uh, Greval also pointed that out that it is possible that some chemical reacted with the methane in the manholes because uh, the gas leak seems to have occurred through a manhole. Uh, so when these factories are set up, sir, aren't these possibilities also looked at? Any loopholes plugged? And who would be responsible then in a situation of this nature, sir? Well, I like to say, first of all, it's not a question of culpable homicide not amounting to murder, <coughs> as uh, Mr. Popara has pointed out, registration of cases. I think that we always wake up post incident. I mean, the number of incidents you have pointed out, number of accidents you have yourself pointed out, the history of India, number of. National Disaster Management Authority has laid down certain norms and etc. Nobody follows. Besides that, there is the Environment Pollution Act under which the culpable homicide or what culpability is there laid down. Hmm. Besides that, there are a number of other acts. You have, you know, the Factories Act, whether the labor were employed properly, whether the minimum wages were being given to them, how all the labor were concentrated there, was the hygienic condition proper or not. All the laws are there. There's no dearth of laws. The question is, we only wake up for its implementation when something happens. Now we have lost precious life. We have lost children. And now we are saying this. And after some time, again, we'll close our eyes. It has, it has been happening. What happens is that now you have ordered a magisterial inquiry. Hmm. Magisterial inquiry will fix responsibilities on certain officers. Uh, we have heard about magistrate inquiry having been conducted here in the case of an uh, accident we took took place at Amrasa, where a number of people were literally hmm. mauled down by the railway. What happened? After the magistrate inquiry, some people were given warnings. My submission is that that does not go by after the incident. This tragedy shows that we have been, there have been negligence at a number of places. If the negligence was there, so far, the authorities are saying it could have been happened from the sewerage. Something has not. The glitches can be many. The glitches can be somewhere, the cooling system in some factory where this was plant that was not proper. And at a proper place in the cooling system, the, the gas went above that level of cooling because of heat. 
and it went out and evaporated and it created problem. Now the question is how to cover all this before you get such incident. That exactly, is the sir. That is the point that I was making in the first place. I was asking you then who should be held responsible in this case? These plug loopholes should have been plugged earlier on itself before the factory is set up. All these possibilities of possible accidents need to be factored in and plugged. I only want to endorse one bit. You have point. One of the officers, that is our local police officer, has said that it would be probably the chemicals that bound to sewerage system and I mean, this is the thing, it's a hot watch. We are not clear because we have not been inspecting this particular factory regularly. The Factory Act has not been implemented. And that time we have not held it responsible. We have not have gone or going about after the Bhopal tragedy, hmm. a number of acts were enacted. But what is the use of enacting these laws? When you are yes, not to implement when the they law. are not implemented on the ground. Uh, Sanjay Hegre, uh, we have an entire family that has been wiped out here. In another family, only a minor child is left behind. Are these tragic circumstances that leave such fights midway? And should such fights then be the state's owners completely? Unfortunately, they aren't. Absolutely. But the state uh, could equally be culpable. That's these right. kind of hmm. incidents cannot happen except if there is deliberate negligence on the part of the state's officers, like the Pollution Control Board. So the point is that there would have to be a, 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 a thorough inquiry. It could possibly be a criminal inquiry. Uh, though Mr. Pal Singh has said that it, would, it may not be culpable homicide uh, amounting to murder by prejudge. Register an FIR against persons unknown go through the cause and if there is criminality which can be established, please go ahead and prosecute. Yes, there is also the question of civil liability, payment of compensation. Hmm. What the uh, Punjab government so far has paid is just ex gratia. Ex gratia is, means as an act of grace. It does not impute any acceptance of liability. Hmm. So there would have to be both uh, criminal liability established as well as if in a magisterial inquiry or any other inquiry, enough evidence emerges to fix the civil liability on either a factory or on the Pollution Control Board. Hmm. Ebhap Singh Grewal, what is most tragic here is that at least two of the families involved here had come all the way from Bihar to make a better future for themselves. And what, what has ended up happening here? And one entire family is wiped out and in the other, only one child is left behind. These are such tragic circumstances, sir. And that is why I ask you, will the state government today promise that they are going to take this fight forward? And as Sanjay Hegri says, maybe uh, the officials in the, the state government, uh, you know, could be responsible. Then how do you promise us here today that you will be an impartial uh, mover in this case? Uh, well, ma'am, uh, let me just... First of all, there has been criminal negligence, there has been criminal misconduct, and we accept that. And of course, uh, there were people involved, there were officials involved. Our cities have become, uh, seriously, uh, they have become garbage dumps. Our cities have been allowed to be evolved in such a way that there has been no planning. So as my city, Dudhyana, I've been born and brought up in the city. I've seen it go to the dogs for a very long time now, number one. Number two, yes, lots of things are said or whatever when a tragedy happens. But this time around, Mr. Hegre is totally right. There has been negligence and an FIR has already been registered sir, under uh, 304. And we will add uh, other uh, sections to it as and when. And a five kilometer radius has been scanned, uh, Commissioner uh, Sir informed me, for CCTVs that whoever might have done. I am not blaming anybody. I am just saying that we are looking at all possible angles. And of course, this has happened because our cities and our industry has been allowed to just mushroom wherever any any politician, any politician thought that I could cut plots. They have allowed this to happen. But in Punjab, we assure you, I have told you the response of the district administration. I have told you the political response. As far as our Madhi party and our response is concerned, we will fixed responsibility. This has been going on for too long now. Our cities have been turned into sewers and our, our 
whole urban planning has gone for a toss and there are factories and this residential areas and people dump things i live in a city which had a, a beautiful uh, river a, a, not a river a, a rivulet called buddha darya and that has turned into a nala which pollutes the satluj uh, it hurts me my father used to go and swim there it hurts me it pains me to see that this has happened to my city but rest is short rest is short hmm. no officer concerned no industrialist concerned nobody concerned will be spared and this time around i'm very sorry to say but this this cloud will have a silver lining and we will bring in a policy to make sure that ppcb which used to be called punjab pollution control board hmm. and mr man said he said just remove one p that is just to move the control it is ppb punjab pollution board it has been made into one of the most corrupt corrupt uh, uh, departments of the of, so of the government so we hope action will be taken there we hope action will be very taken strict, there adil adil i'll just come to you sanjay hegre i want to come to you for one clarity over here in such cases shouldn't uh, you know those who prama facie seem responsible for the case be taken into custody or some sort of action be initiated because there is a tendency for people to hide run away we've seen that in several tragedies the uh, most of these uh, big plants are owned by corporate entities they may be behind that company might be an individual so the the fixing of criminal liability hmm. is a long and, and uh, arduous process of investigation that yes it was because of this particular plant that the accident and the deaths have happened this plant is run by so and so these people were responsible for giving specific uh, directions which led to the tragedy uh, just to give you another uh, example you remember the upahar uh, fire in delhi yes so far theater they the fire Uh, then turned fatal because of certain cinema boxes which were which were built there to accommodate the owners of that company and that is how finally responsibility was fixed on them but that would not have happened but for a tremendous sense of prosecution by uh, one the victims families correct here uh, the, uh, these are poor people who have come from bihar it's unlikely that there would be somebody to carry their cause hmm. it it would be hope the punjab government especially the aap government to probably appoint somebody uh, as a special public prosecutor if required if criminality is established absolutely because in most Mr. such tragedies we see that Mr. it becomes Mr. the lonely fight of the victims yes. against a whole establishment against a government against a officials they have uh, in the upahar tragedy itself we have seen them fighting for years on end uh, adil wanted to make a point seconds. sir i'll, I'll come to you seconds. 15 seconds mr cpal singh i'll come to you sir adil singh boparai wants to make a point after that i'll come to you go ahead adil let's let's come to the nub of the matter and the nub of the matter is tardy ineffective enforcement of laws and rules and lack of supervision in this country there is no dearth of laws there is no vacuum there are enough laws to deal with such situations the problem is enforcement of laws and it's high time i respect my friend he's a gentleman but it's high time that they stop blaming the predecessors they've been in government for about 8 to 10 months they must take responsibility the buck stops with the current dispensation and finally and this is a request again from a very humanitarian angle 2 lakh rupees of compensation is pitiable it is inadequate the state government must introspect they must enhance the compensation amount and fix responsibility all right and this is not just this is not just for one state government i think across the board hmm. across the country there has to be better enforcement and supervision absolutely it is critical now absolutely goes without saying seepal singh sir i have the last uh, 30 seconds left go ahead I interject by saying only two lines. The spokesperson of the Congress has just said, "Quite right, very right. <coughs> that action must be taken against them." Question is that how far the negligence has been there, and in which government? The if I, I belong to the Haryana, 
I know very well which is the Hayaspur area. It is overcrowded. And what is laid down norms, how far the factory should be there from the residence, how far the residence should be there from the factory. Hmm. No norms are being observed. No, you go ahead and go ahead. And who has concern? Why it has been constructed better known this government or that government? B. The registration of FRA at the first stage is, of course, against unknown people. Now the registration of FRA is against unknown. When it will be converted to known people? Hmm. That is the important point. Third, Mr. Sanjay had a very nicely quoted Uphar tragedy. Uphar tragedy against the investigation lacked somewhere. That is why after years of the trial, hmm. the court has let off some of them, at least recently in Uphar. Because the investigation is not proper. Okay. There's some loophole in the investigation. So Absolutely. My so is that's why that's, of the right. Proper. So that is why the need for a time-bound investigation, the need for immediately identifying uh, and placing responsibility on those who have been negligent in this case, all that very important. And as uh, uh, we expect, uh, Evap Singh Reval, who's made that promise, that implementation of existing laws from here on at least after these tragic deaths will be done better in Punjab and other states as well. Uh, those are for those state governments to follow. Many thanks to all our panelists for joining us here on this discussion this evening.